What's up, YouTube and I? It's your man TiVo here with my WonderCon comic book haul. Um, as I teased on Tuesday's show, um, quite a few stories that I had on there, and um, you know, uh, typical con stuff, you know, overpriced stuff. So I went on Sunday, so typically. You know, my thinking is, you know, you get a bed deals on Sunday and sure enough, a couple of booths are like, hey, half off. I don't want to take anything home with me. So I was like, all right, cool. Uh, this is the WonderCon, um, I guess, what a, the uh, guide or whatever. But what's cool is our, our friends at Cover Price on the back page. So, uh, yeah, I had a good conversation with uh, Matt and John uh, from Cover Price, um, you know, you know, just the. The usual stuff, but pretty cool that they have an advert on the back there. Um, so I kept that, you know, and they also had a bag too. Um, also got this really cool sketchbook from um, Soda Maika. Um, you know, end up being her name is actually Micah Soto. Um, <laughs> it's an fun, interesting, fun story about that is that, um, you know, I was chatting her up at the uh, KRS booth. Um, and, um, shout out to, uh, 626, um, Comic Expo, who gifted me this, uh, and even got signed by her. You can barely, you see the signature there, but there is some absolutely gorgeous, just gorgeous art inside of here by Soda Mica. This is probably my favorite spread here. This has got Red Sony on one side. Vampy on the other side, so yeah. Um, so um, <laughs> the funny thing is, is, the story goes, um, she was at the this other booth right behind Kara's Comics, and that's where you know I uh, hooked up, uh, met um, uh, the cat from uh, Six Two Six Comic uh, Expo. I think that's what they're called. It's it's like near Met Sundays uh, in uh, Orange County, but it's in Rosemead. And he was like, hey, what's up? This, uh, blah, 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 you know, on Instagram. And then, you know, he goes, hey, you know, hey, I'll, I'll gift this for you. Because uh, Sosa Micah actually did a, um, was at their booth when they did their last show. And so he was nice enough to uh, A-OK -okay me this. So shout out to them, man. Um, also, uh, shout out to my buddies at KRS Comics, Jose and Chris. Uh, their booth was rocking. I think they had a they had an artist there signing name. I think his name was Soto from San Antonio, I believe, or El Paso, one of the two. But dope, dope artist, very reminiscent of uh, Adam Hughes. But um, so I got these cool ones. I think these are Mike Mayhew. This is Miles Morales, Spider Man number thirty nine. You know me, I love graffiti, so it says uh, something arachnid. But that's tight. So tight. Uh, another one here from the KRS Comics booth. And then I got this one because Jenny Frizen was there. So I was like, you know what? Um, hey, man, let me get Jenny Frizen to sign. Funny story is, is <laughs> there's another book I'll get to later that I wanted to get signed. Um, so my goal was, I was like, look here. I got a budget of around three hundred dollars, and that's all I'm spending. I don't, I'm not spending anything more. Um, I spent a little bit more, but you figure with this, this is uh, forty-five dollar value. So you know, I, I guess I did stay within budget. Um, let's go right to it. Let me show you the book that I was just referring to um, that I got. That. Um, uh, reason I even went over there is this new Teen Titans number one as Marv Wolfman was signing. So I was like, I'm gonna get Marv Wolfman to sign it. And then uh, when I showed back, I, I showed back up over there. He was gone already, and only Jenny Frizen was there. So I was like, oh shoot! But you know what? This is a real clean copy of uh, you know New Teen Titans, and I got it for half off. Um, you know, I don't even remember. Half the places I went to. I got the half off on this one too. This is Avengers number 227. This is, as you say, first, second Monica Rambo. This happened to Marvel. 
Uh, Monica joins the Avengers. Black Avenger, six sixty nine ninety nine or sixty nine ninety nine. I got it for thirty bucks. So if you're playing at home, add up the prices. So I was getting like really nostalgic uh, with like weird stuff, right? Like I just wanted like you know I wanted to get some oddball stuff. So I went on like a um, kind of independent kick. Let's see if I can find them here for you. As I roll through these, probably a better way of doing this. Um, but yeah, do you guys remember Dark Child from the 90s? It was all the rage back in the day. Um, so if you get that, Dark Child Zero, you had to get Dark Child number one. I got this from my man, uh, Elvine's Comics, I do believe. Or no, not Elvine. Uh, but this is a San Diego Comic-Con 98 exclusive signature series. Um, right there. God damn you, Glare. Um, with the sexy comics again. Lady Death. Let me adjust this. Get better lighting. Rick. I love them when they put the big ass stickers on the front of them. I got this for five bucks. Chaos Quarterly, Lady Death. What is that? Robo Evil, Cremator, and Bad Girls. That is gnarly. She looks really horny. Let me uh, get closer there. Oops. Been so long since a haul video. And sticking with my 90s. I got Cyber Force number one. Got it for 15 bucks. Um, and as you see on the back of it, um, it was a Comics Express exclusive. Da -da -da. Signed by Mark Silvestri, number 307 to 3000. Good old Cyber Force. Some more weird stuff. Um, image Spawn Dark Ages number one. Love me some spawn. If you saw my last video I did, I have like 60 spawn variants, but uh, Dark Age spawn and Samurai spawn have got to be probably two of my favorites. Um, but yeah, this is, Spark uh, this is Dark Age spawn number one, near mint condition. Um, and then I got this is my third copy of this. I think this book is going to pop eventually. Uh, Sick of War. Number two, first appearance of Quake, rumored to be coming to the MCU. Then I got this Adventure into Fear, featuring Man Thing, number 14, first appearance of Jennifer Kale. Um, definitely coming to the Marvel horror universe, in my opinion. Um, so that's a little oddity. And I love collecting uh, uh, Bronze Age horror. Uh, Giant Size Master of Kung Fu number four. First appearance of Tiger Claw. Why not? Everybody else is coming. And I got these two from a man, Elvin, for uh, the were 25 each. Because I came to his booth at the... Uh, at the um, Alvin's Comics, and I was like, dude, I got $50 to spend to reach my cap. What can you get me, man? So uh, I got these two. Uh, the Red Agent Human Order Star Wars variant. Very sexy. And then uh, Death Force number one Phoenix Star Wars variant from Zenoscope. Both are from Zenoscope. Very sexy. Um, yeah, so shout out to Elvine. Uh, from uh, or Christian from Elvin's Comics. Uh, let me see who else I met. Uh, Jimmy the Human. Um, my man, Mr. J from the comic book Fiend Club. Of course, the Cats from Cover Price, Karis Comics. Um, you know, Soto Mayaka. Um, God, there was a lot of cool people. You know, you know, you always see people. It's, WonderCon is like my show. You know, that's right down the street from me. So. Um, it's always good to see people there. I mean, one guy was one guy was like, um, "Hey, I recognize you from somewhere." 
And I was like, because the high, the high grade stuff's over here, not like trying to, uh, you know, toot my own horn though. Um, but you know, his prices were low. Put it this way, I meant, even though people were like saying, hey, 50% off, it was like 50% off what was probably already above retail. So, you know, so, you know, I think I did pretty well for about $350, $400, right around $350. Uh, so, a special shout out to this right here, uh, 626 Comic Expo coming. Uh, John Jang is going to be there May 28th and the Rosemead Convention Center, or excuse me, the Rosemead Community Center. So, make sure you peep them out. Um, there you go. Scan that barcode. Look at that. Um, yeah, follow him on Instagram as well. Really cool cat. He's the one that gifted me the Soto Mayaka um, um, sketchbook. And then uh, these cats are cool too. They, these cats were the ones that were like, everything was 50% off. And this is where I met up with Mr. J from the Comic Book Fiend Club. Another barcode. Um, they're in Santa Barbara. And they're, they're, they were like an old school booth. They were just, it was like a small booth that was just cramped and there was stuff on the floor and you could just go digging for stuff. And they were like, 50% off. We don't want to take anything home. So I was digging with Mr. J and there was a cat next to me. And, you know, I flipped through one book and he kept on saying, oh, you probably want to see this. And he kept on showing me like um, Marvel horror books or just horror books in general, like uh, vampire tales and like uh, werewolf but books and stuff like that. And, you know, but the thing is, they were magazine size and they weren't in, um, you know, um, any type of like backing board. So I was like, oh, that's fine. I got a ton of those already. But uh, look at these two gorgeous babes. So that's my haul. It's been a minute, man. So uh, a little rusty, but you know, um, right around three hundred fifty dollars for all of these. Plus, you know, plus the Sotomayaka thingy, um, and you know, it, it was a good time. I'll tell you a interesting story. Is so at one point I was talking to um, John and Matt from Cover Price, and then the guys from Bad Idea came up with Dinesh, who is also quite a bad idea and just being hearing those conversations I also met up with I met John Meyer Burnett I talked to him I chopped it up with him uh for a little bit uh if you don't know he's like on the John Campia show he does a lot of movie stuff and with the two degrees separation is his he does a show with Mikey Sutton so we're we're talking about that um also on the um I found I walked the entire floor like, you know, first, and I was like, man, I am tired already. So if you ever go to the Anaheim Convention Center um, on the second floor, at the very end of it, there's a little balcony with rocking chairs. And I swear to God, I just sat there for like 30 minutes and I was like rocking back and forth and it felt so nice. It was a beautiful day in Anaheim. It was like, you know how sometimes it can be hot? No, it was actually kind of chilly. And, you know, from the from the balcony, you could just kind of kick back, relax, you know, take five, smoke them if you got them. You can see all the cosplayers downstairs. <laughs> and uh, I don't even bring up the cosplayers because um, I didn't I didn't even know how, why they how they let these girls in here because they was half naked. Uh, I meant uh, I don't. Yeah. And I was like, these poor. I was thinking to myself, man, these poor girls are freezing their, their you know, what's off. But uh that's my spiel, boys and girls. Until next time, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.